Okay, in this video, we're gonna go over a Tabata kettlebell workout. So for this workout, it's Tabata style, so you'll be doing 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Originally, it's for eight rounds, so four minutes total, but for this workout, we're gonna do it actually for 16 rounds, so it's gonna be eight minutes total. All you'll need is a kettlebell, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing kettlebell swings, goblet squats, and push press, all right? The way it's gonna go is you're gonna perform kettlebell swings for four rounds, then you'll move on to goblet squats and perform that for four rounds. And then same thing with push press. We're gonna do one side for four rounds and then the opposite side for four rounds. All right, so let me take you through each and every movement. That way we can form, perform them correctly. All right, kettlebell swings. So what we wanna think about with kettlebell swings is you're gonna have your kettlebell in front of you. You wanna be about half a foot away. And then I also wanna have my feet a little bit outside my hips, kind of like if I were to do a squat, all right? So whenever I have my feet just outside my hips, I'm gonna try and keep my chest up, my back flat, and then I'm gonna push my hips back. So I'm gonna think of like I'm trying to shut a car door or something like that. I'm gonna push my hips back. I wanna keep the kettlebell high, and then I wanna pop my hips, so straighten my legs, squeeze my glutes, and pop my hips and let that kettlebell fly up to right about eye level, because we're gonna be doing Russian kettlebell swings today. And I wanna keep my arms out in front of me, so whenever you do it, you want to think of hiking the football first, and then pop your hips. All right, so I'm pushing my hips back, and I'm squeezing my glutes and locking my legs out. My back is staying flat, and my chest is staying up. All right, so what it looks like from the front view. Here. Same thing. So a couple things we want to avoid is coming up on our toes. So I want to stay back on my heels, really squeeze the glutes in order to get that kettlebell up there. Another thing is I don't want to squat down and then come up. So it's not a squat. We're going to come up here. I want to avoid doing this, All right? I just want to push my hips back and squeeze my glutes. So that's the kettlebell swing. Okay, next movement is going to be the goblet squat. So you can hold it two different ways. Uh, you can hold it either by the handle. So if I were to be here, I can hold it this way, or I can flip it up upside down and hold it on the base, all right? So whichever way it feels more comfortable, uh, we can hold it either one. A couple of things, we wanna get our feet in a squatting position, so just outside our hips, pointing those toes out a little bit. And then for the kettlebell, we wanna keep it as close as we can to our chest. And then whenever we squat down, I want to keep it close, get my hips below my knees, push my knees out, keep that chest up and back flat, and then stand straight up, all right? So if I were to hold it just like this, here, stand straight up. So my back stays flat, chest stays up, hips are below parallel, and I'm pressing straight up through my, or through my feet. So a couple things to avoid this way is having the kettlebell out too far and also squatting on my toes. I don't wanna squat on my toes or squat with my knees caving in, all right? So I don't wanna squat knees caving in or anything like that. I wanna have my feet outside, push my knees out and then stand up. Also don't wanna have a rounded back and my chest touching or going towards the floor. Keep everything up, keep it flat and stay tight throughout the core. So that's how you do the goblet squat. Okay, so this one is gonna be the push press. So a kettlebell push press. Uh, what I wanna think about is I'm gonna have the kettlebell close to my chest. I'm gonna hold on the handle. So whenever I bring it up, kettlebell's gonna be outside. It's gonna be close to my chest. It's laying in, on my shoulder and arm, all right? And I'm just gonna dip and drive it up. So I can use my opposite arm to counterbalance. Dip, drive. Now I'm gonna lock out my arm completely, turning my hand. All right, so I want to turn it as I go up, and then I'll turn it as I come back down and catch. So I'll dip here, drive, push it up, and then I'll come back down and catch. So on the dip, I want to make sure that my torso stays upright here, and then I want to make sure that I'm staying on my feet so I'm not on my toes again, and I'm just, my chest stays upright, knees go slightly forward, and it's just a small little dip, and then explode by extending my legs. And then as soon as my legs extend, I'm pushing up with my arm. So what it looks like here, dip, explode. 
and then I'll do it from the front. So I'll come back down, dip, explode. You can also, we want to try and have our feet underneath our hips, uh, not too far out this way. So we want to try and keep them close. And remember, I'm dipping, chest and everything staying up, torso stays upright, and then I'm exploding straight up, pushing and locking that kettlebell up overhead and turning my hand face the opposite, or face where, whichever direction I'm facing, all right? And then whenever you come back down, make sure you bend your knees to catch it. Don't just keep it straight arm unless you're doing it strict. So you'll keep it here, and then you'll press it straight up. And then for this, uh, you'll do it for one arm, and then you'll switch, you'll do it for the opposite arm. Okay, so again, for this workout, it's Tabata. Remember, we're gonna do it for 16 rounds. We're gonna have the kettlebell, we're gonna do kettlebell swings, so we're just going to eye level. You're gonna perform that for four rounds, so it's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and you're just gonna do it for four rounds, and then you move on to the goblet squats. So you'll have 10 seconds to rest before moving on to the goblet squats, and you'll move on, and you'll do that for four rounds, and then we'll do one arm for four rounds, and then the opposite arm for four rounds to complete the 16 rounds. So it's eight minutes total. All right? If you're new, please subscribe. I'll be doing workouts and reviews on pieces of equipment and those things as well and also how to do different exercises.